Okay, I'm currently editing this video and I found some clips that I completely forgot about. So, um, a while ago, I watched this video called Let's Talk About the Japanese Schoolgirl by Mina Lei. And, um, the video is mostly fine. It's, it's mostly sort of a feminist critique of the societal image in the West and in Japan of the Japanese schoolgirl. Um, I have some problems with the content of the video, like later on, where she talks about she says, um, she says this exactly, um, she says, uh, something along the lines of the bad, she specifically is critical of the, the badass Japanese schoolgirl, like, for example, that one character in Kill Bill, um, and she says the idea of this badass Japanese schoolgirl, and then she literally does in air quotes with a sarcasm voice, fighting the oppressive Japanese patriarchy. Yes, that's, like, I, I don't know how you can make a feminist argument that that's a bad thing. She it, 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 she argues that it's bad because those films aren't made by women. When they sometimes are, she just chose ones that weren't. But other than that, it's a fine video. It's also, you know, mostly, a, it's, a lot of it's about fashion, like Gyaru and stuff, which it's all fine. Decent historical analysis. The thing I really have a problem with is that at the first part of the video, she talks about anime, and she says, first of all, I love anime, I love Sailor Moon and Hunter x Hunter 2011. So I'm, here's my credit, that's supposed to make me look cool. She then says, I watched all of Hunter x Hunter 2011. That's 148 episodes, well done. Very, very impressive, very, wow, we're all so proud of you. I don't know what that's supposed to communicate. But then she says, but some anime fans are otaku. Otaku means... Let, here, I'll just play the clip so that you don't think I'm fucking misquoting her because here, I'll find it. You also get shows that so, so here we go, here we go. I also had a soft spot for slice of life anime that took place in a uh, high school setting, so, or in high school host club, Sailor Moon, Paradise Kiss. If you haven't seen those, you're missing out. So, in general... Sailor Moon's not a slice of life anime, by the way, but whatever. I'm pretty familiar with the way that the anime industry has portrayed the schoolgirl. Of course, while you'll get pretty wholesome depictions, like in the examples I just gave, you also get shows that pander to anime otaku. The word otaku means obsessive fan, and in the anime context, it has a pretty heavy negative connotation, generally associated with the... Uh, body pillow hugging neckbeards who live in dark basements and have um pedophilic tendencies you know insults anime otaku do make up a pretty big chunk of capital though which is why there are shows out there that pander to their interests these shows do a lot of zoom shots on boobs and legs and basically so there's the clip there's the clip now, I want you to notice something about that clip. We'll, we'll talk about her um, ableism in a second. I'm trying to, this is, by the way, this is just me redoing the clip I recorded a few days ago in a much more succinct way. So we'll talk about her ableism in a second. But first I want to point out the clip she just showed. And earlier on, she showed two posters for anime that were supposed to represent anime targeted at the otaku demographic. Those were K-On! and Myriad Colors Phantom, Myriad Colors Phantom World, two Kyorani shows. Now. I haven't seen Myriad Colors Phantom World, it's probably not very good. But k -On, which is also the show she's using as a demonstration of the male gaze. Hmm, very interesting, because do you know who directed k -On? Do you know? It was, it was someone called Yamada Naoko. A woman! k -On, directed by a woman. Also, where's k -On adapted from? A manga called Manga Time Kirara. Manga Time... but well, sorry. A manga called K-On, which was in the magazine, Manga Tan Kirara. That magazine is targeted at women. K-On is, in Japan, 40% of K-On fans, I believe, are women. It is one of the most popular anime with women. Why are you using it as an example of sexist anime? Directed by a woman, targeted at women, and popular with Japanese women... This is not an otaku-oriented show. I mean, you could make the argument that otaku like it, because otaku like anime, but it is ostensibly a feminist show with a well-written, well-rounded cast of female characters based on a woman's real experience in high school who directed the show. And she later on goes to say, later in the video, 
I just wish there were more Japanese schoolgirl characters that really were created by women and represented uh, what women really want to see. The show you just said is trash is that that you just asked for. Anyway, that aside, let's talk about her characterization of otaku. I believe she said uh, neckbeard, basement dwelling, body pillow hugging, uh, incel pedophiles. Right, that's me. Right, <laughs> we all know that's me. We all know that's that's me and probably you that she's talking about. Now, anyone who knows anything knows that the first three words she says: neckbeard, basement dwelling, and body pillow hugging. These are dog whistles. These are dog whistles. Um, I don't want to call them slurs. That's a bit too harsh. But they're dog whistles. What they really mean is autistic person. Right? She just hates autistic people. Whenever you call someone a neckbeard. And this is widely known. This is not like something I've just come up with. Oh, neckbeard, haha, <laughs> what you do? Oh, you would mean autistic? No, this has been talked about by not only me, but I've seen feminists on the internet talk about this on Twitter and stuff. The neckbeard is a dog whistle, an ableist dog whistle, meaning autistic man. Basement dweller is an ableist dog whistle, meaning autistic man. Right? That shouldn't be okay that you can just say stuff like that in a video that is ostensibly supposed to be feminist. But more than that, she clearly knows that it's a dog whistle meaning autistic person because she feels the need to immediately misdirect by saying, you know, incels. Because that way, if you have any problem with anything she says, you're, you're misdirected to think she was talking about incels the whole time. She wasn't. She specifically said words that mean autistic person. She specifically is targeting autistic people and then knows that she's doing that, knows that she can't get away with doing that, so misdirects by saying, you know, incels. She's not talking about incels. She doesn't know anything about incels because, you know, most, you know, otaku and incel are completely different words. Otaku has nothing to do with your opinion on women. You know, there, I'm a feminist otaku, for example. There are like otaku who are, you know, Women, Fujoshis, for example, there's there's so many fucking variations of otaku. All it means is that you're a big fan of something. It has nothing to do with being an incel. It has absolutely nothing to do. So maybe some incels are otaku. There are also incels who aren't otaku. I've met incels who hate anime and can't fucking stand it because they hate anything feminine and anime is often uh, quite a feminine medium. You know, like K on the show you're showing, where the main cast is all female, directed by a, a woman. Like, this is a common thing in anime. A lot of incels don't like it. This is just a weird fucking thing to say. And what's fucked up about this is this video has 700,000 views, and she has 300,000 subscribers. I feel like this is not okay. I feel like this this really annoyed me, basically. Like, a few days ago when, I, when this popped up in my sub feed, this really annoyed me. Not in my sub feed, but... Um, I was signed out of YouTube and it showed up on the homepage and I clicked it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, that really annoyed me. But on that day, instead of just making my points succinctly like I did, I went on a half hour long ramble about why this video is bad. And it was a bad ramble. It wasn't like, I didn't make my points well. It was stupid. So that was supposed to be in this video, but I cut all that out so I could just re-record it now quickly. The problem is this video is now going to be short, so who knows? So I just woke up, and you might think, what's, what's so strange about that? Well, yesterday, uh, yesterday I had a nap. For one of the only times in my life I've ever had a nap. And I don't know if it counts as a nap, because naps are supposed to be short. But I slept for three hours in the middle of the day. Now, there was a reason for this. Um, <clears throat> there was a somewhat of a reason for this. But I just felt really tired. I slept for like three hours from like midnight to three... Midday to 3 p.m. I slept. Now, at the time, my sleep cycle... At this time, my sleep cycle was a sort of... Um, uh, I, I don't know what to call it, like a, a, a wake up really early type of sleep cycle. Where I'd wake up at about sort of, you know, 4am, 3am, and go to sleep at like 7, 8pm type of situation. This normally happens after I've stayed up all night, or stayed up like all day for 24 hours. 
the train can make my sleep cycle, and then it slowly drifts back around to being nocturnal, which is always the case. But normally slowly is the key word here, but as you'll see. So, it's just baffling. So I, and I think I got enough sleep that night. I think I got enough sleep the night before, but for various reasons involving various things. Oh, hold on a second. But for various reasons, I slept for three hours in the middle of the day, fell asleep. It was quite comfy. It was very comfy. I had a dream. I had a dream, and the dream was something, all I remember is in the dream I made a video, <laughs> and the video title was something like, um, uh, I don't, how do I put, how, what was it, it was something like, um, uh, these gay people don't believe that anime exists, <laughs> like that, why do these gays not believe that anime exists, and that was the title of the video, it was a very, very strange video that I didn't make, that was, it existed only in my dream, I thought it was very funny, so I wrote it down somewhere, maybe I'll make that video, but it doesn't make any sense, um, I had a dream like that, I, so I slept for like th two or three hours, or, so, or like two and a half hours maybe, and I was like, oh fuck, when the fuck am I going to fall asleep now? I could fall asleep at any possible time. And, um, you know, now that I've slept for three hours in the middle of the day, who knows when the fuck I'll fall asleep again. I fell asleep then, later that night, obviously, as you do. I don't remember exactly when, but, but I do know. It was about 13 hours ago, because I just woke up. And I know it was 13 hours ago, because I checked my YouTube page, my YouTube sub page, to see if there are any videos uh, to watch, about, like, pretty much just before I went to bed. And the most recent video that I remember seeing from before I slept is from 13 hours ago. It's a new Gibbon Take video about countries. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't really know what it's about. Okay, I didn't click on it, because I remember thinking, because I remember, I, 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 I saw that on my sub page, and I was like, oh shit, new give and take video. And I thought, I better not, I should go to sleep. And I turned my computer off. So, I just woke up, checked my sub page, and that video's from 13 hours ago. So, I must have went to sleep about 13 hours ago, which means I must have slept about 13 hours, 12 and a half maybe, if you want to be generous. Why? God fucking knows, but it's 3 p.m. now. What? I mean, I did take some peritin, which is chloramphenamine, which is an antihistamine, to help me sleep. But that's not like a super powerful sleeping pill. That's like an, an allergy pill that, that ha makes you a bit drowsy to help you sleep. It's not gonna like, it's not like I took five of them. I took four milligrams. It's not, I have no idea why the fuck I slept for 13 hours. It doesn't make any sense. My mouth is so dry. I need water. <coughs> I slept for fucking 13 hours. Why? And I don't remember any of my dreams. That's what's the most fucked. I wish I... I also have got a headache. This always happens when I sleep for a really long time. Because obviously, while I'm asleep, I'm not drinking water. And so I get dehydrated in the night. Yeah, of course I'm dehydrated. This is your own fault, body. Body, you're the one that made me sleep for 13 hours for no fucking reason. I already slept for three hours in the day. Why 13 more hours? What did I do to deserve this? And anyway, I wake up, and here's the fucking problem. Here's the fucking problem. So now I'm awake at three, and regardless of the problem of now my sleep cycle's reversed again, probably, I'm not gonna, God knows when the fuck I'll fall asleep tonight. God knows. It'll be an interesting adventure for the both of us. God knows. Um, that aside, here's the problem. Here's, here's, here's the fucking problem. Here's the problem. Here's the fucking problem. So, remember, I'm subscribed to almost a thousand YouTube channels. 900 and something. Here's the problem. This is a video worth watching. This is a video worth watching. Southie one, Luke Smith, good video. This ASMR video is about three minutes long, and that's like ASMR videos are for nighttime. Also, before you judge me,
before you judge me for being subscribed to Uchan ASMR, one day, one of these videos will be about ASMR, and I'll explain all of my ASMR opinions, so just fucking shut the fuck up and wait for me to explain it on a later date. Riolu, I don't know why I subscribe to Riolu, I never watch Riolu's videos, I find him kind of boring. In fact, I'm going to unsubscribe right now. Um, <clears throat> but, I'll do that in a second. Jago Hazard, I love Jago Hazard's videos, except the Lines That Never Were series. I don't find them interesting at all. Jago Hazard's a great channel, I love all of his other videos, but I don't like the Lines That Never Were video because they're about things that don't exist. I like when he talks about stuff that does exist, and I can go and visit it and be like, I know a fact about this place, this tube line, this bit of architecture, or this part of London, or whatever. Like, that's what I like about his videos. So, the Lines That Never Were videos, I've, I've watched a few of them, but they're not very interesting to me. So, I'm probably not going to watch this. Um, so, so far, we've got two videos. We've got the Salsi one, Luke Smith. Then, what else? Let's see. Uh, Bleeding Angel, this is just going to be music. This is an album. I don't know why it's scrolled back up there. But, so, this is going to be just a breakcore album, so I'm not going to listen to that. Um, the Landian philosophy of Bitcoin, n not very interesting to me. A lecture about uh, Nick Land's philosophy of Bitcoin. Um, basics of Kantian, I don't know. Hermetics podcast, the podcast is good, but, um, and some of the lectures are good, like the lectures on Kant and stuff like that. But, uh, I am not very interested in Bitcoin. Um, and I'm even less interested in what Nick Land has to say about Bitcoin. So, I'm definitely not going to watch that. Uh, <clears throat> five up, playing the long con jester strat to confuse everyone. Modded airship. I think I'm officially bored of Among Us. I think this happened yesterday. I think yesterday was the exact pinpoint moment when I got bored of Among Us, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna watch this video. And then that's it. We are back to the give and take one that I haven't watched yet, but that came out just before I went to sleep. So that's one, two, three videos. 13 hours of sleep, three videos to watch. That is why I'm making this shit. Because that's not acceptable. It's not acceptable, guys. I need shit to watch when I wake up. I need fucking content. I need content streamed into my eyeballs. I'll watch anime later. That's fine. Like, I'm happy to watch. I'm happy. I'm perfectly happy to have, like, five videos when I wake up and then spend the rest of the day reading vision novels, making music, watching anime, you know, all of this other shit that I do with my life. But I need stuff when I wake up because I can't focus on anything other than a YouTube video because I'm half asleep for like hours after I wake up. It takes me like four hours to be fucking sapient. If, whatever, I'll read a fucking dictionary in two hours from now, but I need something to entertain me for two hours until I'm fucking awake. Um, <clears throat> and three fucking videos, decent though they may be, they may be perfectly fun videos, is not enough. It's not enough, guys. What are you doing? You need to up your shit. You need to up your game, man. You need to up your fucking game. You need to be uploading shit while I'm asleep so I can watch it in the morning. And that's what I'm doing. I'm making... I need breakfast videos, and that's so. This is just another example of making art for your. This is making art for yourself when you're making art because you just want something to exist in the world, and no one else is going to do it, so you have to do it yourself. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing all the time these days. Is just focusing on that kind of shit. You know, not. I don't have anything to say. I I don't have fuck all to say. Anything I have to say in the world, gone, done, already been done by either me or someone else better than me. I don't have any artistic statements to make. Fuck that shit. Artistic statements are bullshit anyway. The who cares what I think. But sometimes I'm like, I wish this thing existed. I wish that there was a channel that would upload something that I could watch for breakfast every day. Or like, you know, I wish there was an album that, um, that, that fucking had, uh, you know, shit. I don't know. I'm too tired to explain it. Whatever, you understand what I'm saying? I'm making shit. Well, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm still awake. I don't really feel tired. So, um, that should tell you something about... Tells me something about how I'm feeling. I'm, uh... I got a headache. I'm kind of drunk. Don't feel tired. Just feel fucked. This is why you don't sleep for 13 hours.